Howdy y'all. I am back from vacation. That's right. Just got through delivering my first load after vacation and it was our first load for my direct shipper that I've been working with. We finally got everything ironed out. Uh, the boss man up there with Advanced has been working on the back office paperwork and the billing and everything, getting all that straight and set up. We're gonna be picking up another load from them tomorrow. This is one happy dude, let me tell you. If I could get this all the time, I, it, they had to run me off with a stick. But for a vacation, man, I took a longer vacation than what I, I originally wanted to because there was some discrepancy with some, with some of the parts that we ordered. I had my friend set up and we were going to put the drag link, the tie rod ends, and the shocks on the truck. I got all the parts together. Well, I sent my wife to get some of them. Well, when we got down there to do it on a Saturday, turns out we had tie rod arms and not ends. So, you know, of course I was aggravated. So we just went ahead and we put the drag link on got the shocks on and y'all those ain't exactly cheap but I got some good Monroe shocks from my truck it's riding a lot smoother uh, but so come Monday I went to the uh, my local shop and got them to order the tie rod ends because I'm aggravated with Freightliner and I don't know if I'm going to use them anymore to be brutally honest not even for warranty work. I, I, I aggravated I am with them. So I told them to order the tie rod ends, and they did. And you know what they got on Tuesday? <laughs> they got tie rod arms also. So we did some research, and turns out this 2014 Cascadia has a Mercedes front axle under it. So they wanted to sell me tie rod ends and the tube, which would have been a little bit more expensive. So my, my local shop recommended that I bring it up there to them and they would find us some tie rod ends, which I did, which was fine. You know, my buddy's going in for surgery this month and I wanted to, you know, let him do as much as he could. He did pretty good on the deal, you know, give him a little extra money going into having a surgery. Anyway, we uh, took it up there to the shop. They got the right parts on it. They got the front end of line. Went ahead and I did everything. Since it was already Tuesday going into Wednesday, I said, let's just do it all and I'll go back to work the next Tuesday. And that's what we're doing. Today's Tuesday and I am finishing up my day. Now, we got the overhead and y'all my truck is running so much better since i did the overhead and the service i'm getting 8.6 miles to the gallon today and it has been being around 7.2 and 6.2 when i'm loaded heavy the loads i'm gonna be pulling are lightweight so i'm getting 8.6 miles to the gallon today and i've put 443 miles on the truck today off of this fresh fuel tank so I ain't too bad. I, I can live with that. That's for sure. We, like I said, we got the service. I got the oil changed in the transmission, both the rear ends. I got new vent tubes because the other vents that I had on my rear axles were just letting oil get everywhere. So I got me two fresh vent tubes on my rear ends. Um, we got move mud flaps, which I still got to put them on. I'll probably make a little video of that when I do that. So I got my crosses, my chrome crosses to put on them. They came in yesterday. So we'll get that all put together. We uh, got a windshield put in the truck. I mean, we just had a lot of stuff to do and it was spread out all during the week. I think Friday is the day that I put on the windshield. So we, Safe Light came out and did it. That cost me 250, which, which I don't think was very bad. You know, at Snyder, I had the uh, buyback insurance, so like the little things like that would have been covered without a deductible. Now I have a deductible, so I just went ahead and paid it. 
no biggie. It's all going to be a tax write-off anyhow, right? So tomorrow we pull the next low with the direct shipper, and hopefully we can keep this momentum and keep pulling for them. You know, fingers crossed, saying prayers, the whole nine yards. We're going to make it happen. But I got to do some manual labor today unloading the trailer, and it really... <laughs> It's going to take a little while to get used to, but it feels good to be out there sweating again, you know, because I'm the guy that likes, I'm the guy that likes to eat bad food, and I have to work off them calories. Y'all, a wildlife agent today down here in Mississippi, we're in a construction zone. He falls out into the construction closed lane and passes me. I wish I was a cop. Somebody should report that mess. He don't have no blue lights going or none of that stuff, but he the left lane is closed. He crosses the cones and goes into that left lane and passes everybody. You know, and, and uh, yet truckers are the problem. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get off on that. I'm not gonna get off on I'm trying to be positive, trying to be upbeat, you know. <laughs> but that kind of stuff right there just ooh, it burns me up. He's supposed to be a law enforcement officer, and he won't even obey the laws that he's sworn to uphold. So why is anybody else gonna do it? But that's our update for today. I don't know if I mentioned, but we did rehome our rabbits. We don't have any rabbits anymore. We're going to focus on the chickens and the goats. So that's about all I have to say today. God bless. And I look forward to catching you on the next ride.